I was watching a video earlier today, the one that we did at that little pump concert where we dressed you up like little pump. <laughs> yeah, I love that video. That was oh, such that was a tight. sick video. It I was. forgot about it. We that. did really good. The on the sick. the ep, the version of it that I posted on Concrete, the top comment is guys, do you, or it was like do all caps, do you guys know this is Tifu's biological brother? <laughs> Dude, do we know? <laughs> the internet is so weird now. Yeah, dude, like I got a bunch of comments on America's Got Talent. Like, that's Tifu's brother. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Yeah, that'll haunt you forever. That's I'm the so trampoline funny. guy. I'm yeah. Tifu's brother. You know, it's weird. Like, that's one of the craziest things about like meeting people is like, I like asking them what video they saw or like what, what they like that I've done. If somebody like comes up and Says they like our stuff. Just the wide range of shit that I've heard is crazy. Really? It's like, you, you know, like, I'm people? proud of a lot of stuff. And then yeah. somebody will be like, oh, yeah, the time that you lit your friend on fire and then hit him in the face with a water balloon. I'm like, holy shit. Like, that's what you remember. You know, it's just, it's funny. The backyard at your dad's house is just kind of like a, a cesspool of just wild, crazy shit. Yeah. Always. Yep. I don't think that'll ever stop. Hopefully we'll keep doing stuff there forever. It had to, and it was it had to have been so crazy too. Like, because there was that one time, that one point, like three years ago, when uh, like you had the whole trampoline video series just going off, and that was like the most popular thing on the internet. And then yeah. out of nowhere, your brother's social media just started just like creeping up and creeping up and just like skyrocketing Insane. out of nowhere. Insane. Yeah, that trampoline versus was cool because. Uh, the one thing that I'll always take out of that is that we got number one most subscribed channel for the day, two days Sick. in a row. When that really? Was yeah, above PewDiePie, above every creator on the platform for two days. That was kind of Hell like, yeah. uh, even that wasn't even that long ago, and it was just like, it seems like it was... And now people are ripping it off. Are they? There's another channel that does the exact same thing that I did like three or four years ago on his channel, and he's getting more views than I did when I did it. Fuck. And it's just dedicated to the trampoline shit. He, I mean, he didn't credit me in anything, so kind of no. just took the idea and yeah, made it his own. There was a couple channels that actually their channel was made off of the trampoline versus series. Really? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Well, imitation is the highest form of flattery, right? Yeah. <laughs> what um, it's well, I was what I was gonna say it was like that time when we were doing that. It, it seems like YouTube was a completely different place. Like a completely different website back then, you know. It was, and it is. It's yeah, it's insane. <laughs> Especially I mean, with like all the like now, all it is is just. I feel like it's just people. It's just like all it can be is a certain type of just like bullshit content, and so much of it is curated and censored. Yeah, I used to. Uh, I mean, I used to use YouTube almost every day from 2006 until like you know currently you know mm -hmm. i uh before i uploaded anything on youtube i was watching stuff on youtube a lot you know and uh yeah it was like you could just type in whatever you want and like it would always feed you something cool it seemed like you guys use e-bombs world when you're hell, yeah. hell yeah. oh yeah, yeah i was, was all shit. i was addicted to that oh, when i was yeah. like 13 or like 12 i don't even know how young the I prank was, call voices the yeah, soundboards just everything oh yeah all the soundboards oh, oh man God. that was a wild time and like that was oh, a good just, site. Is it still around? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, Does I it still exist? check up on it. Ubombs? Oh, yeah. There's oh, definitely fuck, I haven't still searched that site oh. in probably 15 years. Really? I still <laughs> check up on it every now and then. Oh, fuck. Remember World Star Hip Hop? World Star was oh, just yeah. always dog <laughs> shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when, though, that was like a thing that you wanted. You would want your video to get picked up by you World just, Star. I mean, oh, you yeah. still do. People, a lot of people still use it. It's just... I don't know. They just, I, I can't follow pages that post more than five things a day. Mm -hmm. Or else it's just like, it just seems ridiculous. I don't even know how anything works anymore. Like, uh, I miss when YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter all used to be like chronological, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, especially yeah, it's not Instagram. Like anymore. No, it's not. No, it's I just, heard the I Instagram went back to it. it. No, no, I'll still be scrolling through and I'll get a post from like four days ago yeah. next to a post that was like a couple hours ago. Huh. Yeah. How often are you posting? I try a couple times a week, no matter what, mm -hmm. you know, no matter what. So I try to, I've been trying to post on Instagram every day. Everybody's making money on short form content right now, like getting yeah. budgets for their reels or getting paid. I don't, I just, 
It's so hard. I mean, I, I try to do it because I see everyone else doing it. And I acknowledge that like, if you're not, if you get on your feed on Instagram, you're going to see 15 videos and maybe like two pictures, you know, mm-hmm. it's all reels. It's just <clears throat> pushing reels to everyone right now. So when I see that, I'm like, all right, I'll post some reels. But the real bummer is my hard drive with like 36 terabytes of footage that has like a good couple of years of really good content on it just stopped working. So oh. right when I was about to just crank out a bunch of a bun- bunch of reels, <laughs> that happened. And uh, problem with reels is you have to anything that's filmed like high, high quality that's not, um, you know, th- that's uh, horizontal, you know, and not vertical is going to look like dog shit on a reel. Like, everything yeah. that I've filmed for the last 13 years, I have to crop in. That's a super, like, fish eye. Look, yeah, it just looks terrible. So you either have to create new content for reels or you have to make your old content look kind of shitty. And it's just like, I'm just hoping that this is just a phase and that people get really bored of short-form content very quickly. I've been trying to upload on YouTube a bunch, and it's been going well, so... Yeah, it's like everybody's scrambling just to adapt to whatever like the new hot thing is. Like, what, like the, if it's Instagram Reels or if it's TikToks or you got to be on TikTok. Oh, you got to do YouTube Shorts. Like everyone's always everyone's always telling me wherever I go, like what I have to be doing. You it's know crazy I mean? that people that have no talent are becoming super famous too. Super famous. And I think that that's a problem. You know? Really? Yeah. Like, I mean, not no talent. You know, there's some talent like. Look at the D'Amelios, like, t- honestly. Like, have who you is d- that? The two TikTok sisters. You don't know who the D'Amelios are? Uh-uh. Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio. They have, like... Austin, that's your kid. Austin, you know them? 700 million followers on everything. You know, really? They're, just, they're massive, and I What do they do? They do the it. dance? They dance. They dance. They definitely dance. Oh, I know who they are. Yeah. They got the, they got offered their own reality show, too, oh, right? yeah. Followers, 130 million. Jesus. Yeah, it's insane. I, uh, I hosted a panel for them at Playlist Live. Yeah. I was the moderator of a panel before they really blew up. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just like, I... It, it, I see the most famous people on platforms like TikTok, and I'm like, this is not my place. Like, yeah. I do not belong here. I make better content than this. If these are the top people on the platform, I don't want to be here. What about the Island Boys? What about them? <laughs> they got fucking so absurdly famous. And I don't know that they did, though. I feel like a lot of people were really just making fun of them. Yeah. Like, if they show up in, in public, they get booed everywhere they go. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, did you see them show up for that fight? I'm not envious of people like that at all. That's, but they that's could a, slowly turn the tanker, couldn't they? Over a long period of time, they could slowly turn the ship. To where people are kind of laughing with them in a couple of years versus laughing at them. <sighs> they're just so unlikable. They like are. If you watch them on podcasts. And they're so dumb, too. They right? get mm-hmm. so offended. Yeah, they just don't have, like, the depth or, like, the, I don't know, just the life experience to have, like, an a, an understanding of just any a grasp on anything. I don't know. They just, they got, <laughs> you see them on the Jake Paul podcast? Yeah. Or the Logan Paul podcast? Yeah, didn't he try to fight one of the guys? He just got, they just got You, th- you know I'm thugging, right? <sighs> yeah, I just, I can't get on board with people like that. I just don't, you know, I don't <laughs> hang out with people like that. I can't endorse people like that. <laughs> you know, I wish everyone the best. I think that that's a very important yeah, part of life. Sure. Especially the people that, like, treat you the worst. You know, wish everyone well, but, mm-hmm. like, I don't have to condone that or endorse that. Uh, <laughs> no. No.